ஏ நியூ லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் அப்படிங்கிற டாப்பிக்கில் நம்முடைய பிரதர் சுவாமிநாதன் எடுப்பார் ஏன்னா இப்போ பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ஸ்டைல் என்ன ஆகிட்டுருக்குது மாறிடுச்சு ரொம்ப எல்லாருக்குமே லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் மாறிடுச்சு ஸோ இப்போ இந்த ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மூலமாக எப்படி நம்ம லைஃப் ஸ்டைலை வந்து நல்லபடி கொண்டு வரலாம் அப்படின்னு டாப்பிக்கு இப்போ இந்த டாபிக் எல்லாருமே நம்ம கேட்போம் ஓம் சாந்தி ஓம் சாந்தி ஸோ வெல்கம் டு த மோர் லெஸ் த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் தென் வி ஹேவ் ஒன் கொஸ்டின் ஆன்சர் செஷன் அண்ட் வேலிபிலிட்டி போஸ்ட் லஞ்ச் ஐ அப்ரிஷியேட் ஆல் ஆஃப் யுவர் ப்ரெசன்ஸ் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர்ஸ் session we'll just discuss upon some of the takeaways and some of the action plan in fact i was listening to this wonderful heart to heart conversation by a spiritual scientist a spiritual doctor a spiritual finance person and a spiritual engineer and a very beautifully moderated by a young spiritual brother can we all clap for them in fact to be very honest uh, i'd come here with a very wonderful script but when i le- heard their wonderful life experiences i decided not to touch my astra shastra and laptop because my script i felt sitting over there listening to that beautiful conversations i felt as if my script has become very very shallow so i will not take much of your time i'll finish on time so that you go back home safely on time i'll just take 15 20 minutes and if that young spiritual brother shivra krishnan permits me i will just share my experiences at how did i come to the brahma kumaris vidyalaya okay in two or three minutes and then i'll tell you what is a small simple action plan that we can take away from today after listening to such beautiful experiences in fact it was in the year 1996 and my situation like was arjun totally confused uh, i completed my graduation in engineering had a good job also but i was so confused in my life that i did not know what am i heading for i knew there was some short circuit happening in my life more or less i belong to a very religious family my parents are ambalwasi so we do lot of religious rituals and all that but in my life i was not able to connect and there was some kind of a vacuum that i was feeling in my life so i was posted in mumbai in 96 so i was going for a morning walk and i as i was tra- uh, in the road going for a morning walk suddenly i saw that there was uh, this brahma kumari center but there was no board written there and uh, there was a bungalow there the small garden there in front of that bungalow and then there was a road as i was traveling towards the ro- road suddenly i saw this shiv baba's light i did not know what is that light and all it was just a casket of light and then many people at around 6:30 it was there many people they were sitting and the whole environment was so positive and so charging i was on the road and the moment i was walking suddenly i saw this group of people because there was a glass in front in there in front so i was just looking at them so silent some light instrumental music was been played inside i kept on staring at the light and there was some kind of a feeling i was getting please come please come but i was little hesitant because i was new in bombay and there was nothing written there so i thought how i am not very sure how people would react so i walked away the next day morning again i uh, walked on the same road again the same scene and again i felt somebody is telling me why don't you come inside please come please come so then i asked my room partner for the first time he mentioned the name brahma kumaris and at that time there was no media nothing was there so i asked them what do they teach and then he told it's raj yoga meditation this word raj yoga is what touched to me because in the field of astrology raj yoga is considered to be the highest saubhagya so raj yoga i said ah i'm very confused maybe this will help me and that's how i walked into the center so if i look at my journey of 27 years it's been such a wonderful experience so i feel you know when i i'll tell you my own life experience that when i came to the brahma kumaris i was like arjun totally confused slowly slowly you know the lifestyle changed in me and maybe this is what i would love to share with you my dear sweet intellectual friends that slowly the transition should happen from arjun we should become yudhishthir yudhishthir the sandhi which the vocabulary says yuddh me sthir hone wala Arjun means ज्ञान का अर्जन करने वाला 
So slowly our lifestyle and everything, we start becoming Yudhishthir. So from Arjun, we should get promoted to Yudhishthir and then the final promotion to Dash. Please fill up the blanks. Eh, and the Ah, wow, very intellectual audience. It's Sri Krishna. So that's how we should be doing. So I am in between Arjun and Yudhishthir moving towards <laughs> Sri Krishna. And therefore, you see, if you look at the life history and the story of Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna is always shown as smiling, peaceful, joyful, cheerful, blissful. In fact, uh, the story says that Sri Krishna started facing his exams before birth. Kans Mamaji was there. But have you ever seen Sri Krishna in a state of stress? No. In fact, the whole of Mahabharata, it is said that Sri Krishna never took that Astra Shastra. But he always helped the Pandavas to become successful. And he helped the Kauravas to move in the right direction. So this is what our journey should become. Now, what about the action plan? But before I tell you the action plan, I was listening to this wonderful conversation. In fact, uh, during my childhood sweet memories, I used to watch and this Mahabharat serial in TV, television. Then uh, after many, many years when the COVID came, the government of India decided people are inside the lockdown. So why, how do we while away the time? So they again started relaying this Mahabharat and Ramayana. So myself and my whole family members were sitting and watching this Mahabharat once again. The same childhood sweet memories. So I'll ask you a very simple question. And that's a very interesting question, which came to my mind while I was watching the Mahabharat for the second time. So the story says that Arjun suddenly becomes weak and is not able to take up his Gandhiv. Okay. And the reason that I understood when I was watching Mahabharat many years before was Arjun's mind became weak because there was Bhish Pitama, Guru Dronacharya, Kripacharya all standing in front of him. That's what I understood. But while I was watching uh, right, the Mahabharat for the second time, and naturally this so many years of uh, you know seeing life, Suddenly a thought came to my mind that Arjun knew two things. Number one, Arjun knew that there is going to be a battle at any cost. And number two, Arjun knew that there may be some people may not be there, but for sure Bhish Pitama would be there. Then the question arose to me that why did Arjun's mind become weak? He was aware, na? Yudh zarur hoga. And Bhish Pitama zarur honge. Then why did Arjun's mind become weak? In fact, one year before, the same core of Sena was there in front of Arjun. Tab to Arjun ka Gandhiv ko no problem. In fact, he was preparing for the war. For the previous 12 years, he was doing so much of tapasya and he wanted to have that Brahmastra so that he can use it against Bhishpitama. So the question came to my mind is, why did Arjun's mind become weak? Please share your words of wisdom. Why? Why? Haan ji, sir? Attachment. Very good. Right answer. Attachment, emotions. Attachment to whom, sir? Haan, that's true. But then he knew na, these people will be there. Na. I agree with your answer. I appreciate your answer. But he knew na, that these people will be there. Then? Why did Arjun's mind become weak? Sir? Little louder, please. Ah, fighting against Duryodhan. But he was practicing uh, for the last 12 years, he was doing tapasya for Brahmastra. Why was he confused, brother? Eh? Right or wrong? Okay, okay, okay. See, all these are perfectly right answer. But I'll give you one input which I got at that time. You may think about it. In fact, what I understood is Arjun's mind was not confused looking at the people in front because Arjun's mind was prepared for that. What did really happen was Arjun was there at the middle of that battle. He kept on looking at everyone so he knew that yes, he can fight them and win. As soon as Arjun turned back, his eyes fell on the Pandav Sena and in the Pandav Sena, he observed his own son Abhimanyu. Now, this was out of syllabus for him. So, sir, you are right. 
attachment emotions you are right but not attachment there attachment with the own children so in my 27 years of experience of interacting with people i always share this experience when i'm interacting with the defense forces so i see many brigadiers colonels majors lieutenant general they say swami bhai we are able to manage our entire brigade but i am not able to manage my abhimanyu <laughs> yes so and this is where the raj yoga meditation finds its place in the holy bhagavad gita so what is the action plan i will tell you in that particular context okay there are simple five action plan okay simple things which you can just remember and if you want you can scribble it down also the first thing when arjun was totally confused bhagwan watch unhon arjun ko bataya hey arjun your mind is becoming weak because you do not know who you are and then the first step arjun was taught in the first adhyay of the bhagavad gita hey arjun aap ye sharir nahi ho aap atma ho so the first action plan is be light be light so as you move from here one thing you should do you should remember that wonderful nursery rhyme twinkle twinkle little star i am a twinkle twinkle simple one line this is what you should remember at least till you reach your Chen- uh, uh, reach your chennai back home i am a twinkle twinkle little star i am a twinkle twinkle little star so the first step is be light second step second action plan is feel light the first one is be light number two is feel light right as a good friend right i would request you for the next 24 hours whatever be the situation don't react suddenly please increase your reaction time and instead of reaction you should respond there is a difference between reaction and respond we had in paramilitary forces which was called as qrt quick reaction team now the latest paramilitary force by the government of india is called as ndrf and i am sure all of you know the full form of ndrf national disaster r force please fill up the blanks for r please fill up the blanks for r fill up the blanks r r for relief okay or r rescue beautiful or reform wow very good very good <laughs> it is all this is what they do and you're right but it is national disaster response force so if you are abhimanyu is preparing for the civil service examination or if he is preparing for kon banega karodpati <laughs> so please go and teach him today so amitabh bachchan in the hot seat will ask your son or daughter relief hai rescue hai reform hai or response hai so your abhimanyu should respond correctly so what is the difference between reaction and response for example sometime before kerala was in flood there was a second ndr posted very close to chennai we had been there last time so these people were deputed there so this ndrf team what they do is they collect all the resources to manage the disaster so when they went there they used their life boat life jacket everything everything they were able to manage people of kerala god's own country once they were able to manage the situation suddenly they received a news that in the north there is a bhukamp happening earthquake so this ndrf team they immediately don't rush to the north they take a spos they leave their life boat life jacket there then they take heavy earth moving equipments and then go there so in actual real disasters if we are very very they are very clear about which resources to use in emotional issues you should also we should also be aware of the resources and the right resources as told by dr kalam in the drdo research is uh, peace love and happiness so don't react but respond so how many of you will do this for the next 24 hours please raise up your hand wow very good people beautiful people thank you very much right don't react but respond so there is a very wonderful slogan in english i will say the slogan and i want you to repeat with me all of you say i 
have no control of what happens with me but i can take absolute control of what happens within me so the moment you start controlling yourself managing yourself and respond we start becoming yudhishthir how many of you would love to get this promotion from arjun to yudhishthir raise up your hand wow very good very good congratulations because as a promotion you get in your spiritual arena and it will certainly help in increasing your efficiency in increasing your productivity maintaining your interpersonal relationships intrapersonal relationship so how do we come to know that whether your reaction time reaction has been transformed by response right that's what i told in the morning you will not get angry so in paramilitary forces you now there's a major problem of not just suicides but there's a problem with fratricide suicide is killing oneself fratricide is using the gun meant for safety and protection you start killing your seniors juniors colleagues so once we were doing a program for the cisf people people who are responsible for managing right atomic power stations etc etc even airport also so we meet them in the airport so we're doing a training program so i asked them do you get angry ha ji sir gussa aata hai kopa mera rand i said kis par gussa aata hai whom do you get angry on sir official program sir how do we tell me like tell na tell. no no sir everybody is sitting there so i call one jawan come here tell me in my ears whom do you get angry on so he came closer to me and said sir commandant sapari sabse jyada gussa aata hai and the commandant sir was sitting there smiling <laughs> so i told the commandant sir do you know this jawan gets angry on whom he said yeah yeah i am also curious me kaise sir aap par hi sabse jyada gussa aata hai kyun bhai why do you get angry on me I asked the Javan, "Tell now, your sir, sir, you made it public, sir, official program. Me, it's a stress management program, na? So whatever understanding, misunderstanding, it will become. You tell now, why do you get angry? And the commander was also very good. Batao, batao. Mujh par kyon gussa karte ho aap? So I said, Javan, tell now, tell now, why do you get angry? So the Javan told, sir, for the last six months you are not sanctioning my leave, sir. Therefore, I'm getting angry on you. Then I told the commander, give leave now. Why do you push him to the heart attack? He's getting angry, and he cannot express also, na? Not only a heart attack, he will get cancer also, right? Give him leave, na? He said, "Swami, boy, you ask this jawan. After post COVID, right? Post COVID situation, the traffic in the airport has increased so drastically. Number one. Number two, you ask this jawan, what is the sanction strength to manage the airport, and how many people government has given? You ask this person. Number three, you ask him every day morning. From Delhi, we get threat messages. I pass on these threat messages to them itself. In such a situation, how can I leave them? Tell me, na. Last thing he said, Swami. Even I have got my family and children. Don't I wish? Don't I feel going and meeting my abhimanyus? I certainly love. When I understand these emotions, why will I stop him giving vacation or leave? So he asked, told the Jawan. See, he has got a very valid reason. So the Jawan thought, Ah, oh, sir, we I never thought about it. I said, okay, the commandant doesn't give holiday. It's a valid reason to get irritated or angry. But you should not get angry with your children, na na. Be manu, na. You should not get angry. Everyone said, ah, yes, sir, yes, sir. So I asked the audience, how many of you don't get angry on your children? Raise up your hand. So after something, one jawan raised. I go, really, sir? I have never got angry with my child in my entire lifetime. I said, I think you are very honest. Eh? I will ring your family and find out. Sir, I ring karo, sir. आज तक मैंने अपने बच्चे पर गुस्सा नहीं किया सो आई वॉक द जवान एंड सर हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रन यू हैव सर आई गॉट वन डॉटर वॉट इज अर एज सर शी इज एट मंथ बेबी सर मैं क्या खड़े हो जाओ हाँ जी सर वट्स द एज सर एट मंथ बेबी आई सर मैन इज द लास्ट टाइम यू सो हर सर छह महीने से तो कमांडर सर छुट्टी नहीं दे रहे सर सो सो ही मैटर वेन यू शी हेज टू मंथ I said, why don't you get angry with your daughter, sir? Small angel, sir, beautiful angel. वो मेरा दिल का टुकड़ा है, sir. मैंने कहा, okay, she's दिल का टुकड़ा. She's a part of your heart. Yes, sir, I love her very much. मैंने कहा, will you get angry when she goes up eight years? She's still an angel, ना? Yes, sir. Will you get angry on her when she's eighteen years? Ah, oh, sir, no, 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 no. So the second point is today when you go back home. the arj the abhimanyu should see the difference in their parents 
you should tell them what's right and wrong tell them you know you'll tell swami sir uh, you are taking a lot of uh, side towards abhimanyus we also also children once upon a time my father used to hit me like anything why you are so soft see during our times na we were very emotionally strong and you know the reason why you and me were strong <laughs> we had only one tv channel doordarshan only half an hour chitrahar only one movie sunday movie and today the children are bombarded with so much of negative content and they becoming actually they are very sharp they are very intelligent they are very creative because i meet these abhimanyus day in and day out but i find these children of today they are very emotionally sensitive i hope all of you agree with me they have to be made emotionally strong you tell them what's right you should we should not get angry but we should be internally powerful there's a difference between anger and powerful some people will say how this will work in administration baba there's a very wonderful joke related this a newly appointed manager shifted from one office to the other office so as soon as he entered his cabin very good cabin everything so he rang the bell the pune entered so this manager newly app- newly appointed manager there he said can you get me a glass of water the ga- the pune very was full of this one and said no 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 pani lekar aane ka kaam mera nahi hai my now job is not to bring water to you so manager very cool okay then what's your job my job as per the protocol is bring files to you take files from you now within this protocol you tell me so he thought acha acha your job is to bring files take files from me okay okay she so said see my dear friend i am come here for the first time so which is the oldest file in this office he thought for a minute and said 1960 can you please get me the file of 1960 so that i start studying it now you have no other option he went to the store room broke his head for one and a half hours got him the file of 1960 the moment he entered with the file of 1960 the manager very emotionally strong and puffed he really appreciated very good beautiful you are a very effective and efficient person very good congratulations the next day morning he rang the bell the pune entered today can you get me the file of 1961 with lots of kadal he told kadal means love now again he went broke his head for two hours got him the file of 1961 ah, very good appreciated very good wonderful i'm really happy with your effectiveness the third day morning as soon as he rang the bell the pune entered with a glass of water sir pehle aap pani pijiye sir you drink water first <laughs> so an emotionally intelligent administrator scientist engineer is that person who gets the work done without causing heart attack and bp and diabetes to the self so this is how that's what we should learn from sri krishna sri krishna full of yukti that's what we should learn and that's what we should do so the first step is be light the second step is feel light feel light right the third step is see light us light ko dekhna so when bhagwan watch in the bhagavad gita told arjun everything but arjun's mind was depressed sad gloomy feeling very low so the final adhyay of bhagavad gita you you heard in the story also and we have seen in that serial also bhagwan ka vishal swarup dikhate sakshat swarup and what does arjun see the tejomay prakash so the tejomay prakash is the supreme light the supreme light so the third step is in between it will just take a split of a second to see light eight standard basic physics energy flows from a higher potential to a lower potential so the first step is be light second step is see light third step is uh, fee, second step is feel light third step is see light fourth step already told by the neurologist doctor eat light eat light a food should be very very light and as he rightly said one action plan you should certainly do become a pure vegetarian become a proud vegetarian that's what i learned from him sir albert einstein edison benjamin franklin leonardo da vinci pythagoras plato george bernard shaw leo tolstoy mark twain carl lewis martina navratilova mohammad ali amitabh bachchan dr apj abdul kalam mahatma gandhi ji that scientist the neurologist and the chartered accountant and swami bhai 
all have one thing in common. What is that one thing in common? Arey, what is so great about vegetarian? Yar, you should have told now all intellectual people, handsome people. What is so great about vegetarian? But that's right. They're all pure vegetarians. So the next time, if you're disturbed by the terrific heat of Chennai, don't blame the nature. Just get onto Google search engine and just type "intergovernmental panel for combating climate change" (IPCC). They won the Nobel Peace Prize twice, and there, if you go and go through it, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations says very clearly that if you want to take care of the global warming and the ozone layer melting, out of the seven days, if you are eating non-veg, if you can turn yourself to having vegetarian food even for one day you are helping in and uh, tackling the global warming and the ozone melting yes how does it happen you have to study there to understand it so eat light and i'll be very happy to share with you today i was sharing you the photographs of siachen glacier so when the indian army asked a brahma kumari team to visit siachen the world's uh, highest battlefield we wrote a mail to the brigadier who was coordinating that program that will certainly love to come there but with only one condition that we will carry our own utensils and we will cook our food we will cook our food only thing you have to provide a gas stove and the gas that's the only thing and even the highest battlefield we were able to manage our own food even i travel to so many places the food is not at all a problem and you have got a small you know electric pressure cooker you can prepare and make prepare khichdi so easily i have i had an iit colleague of mine who was there in iit bombay doing his phd so he was a pakka bal brahmachari kumar so i asked one day he invited me to his hostel room and i said how do you manage your food yaar he said swami bhai every month on time i pay the hostel uh, mess fees but never did i go there once I said, "How do you manage?" He said, "I there's a secret," and then he slowly opened his cupboard. So the, it was there one uh, three shelf was allotted to him. There was another partner. Out of the three shelf, the below shelf was his small this electric pressure cooker. He says, "Every day I pick up that cooker, uh, prepare my food, and I've got no problem." After one month, I read in the newspapers, IIT Mumbai canteen food poisoning. All the intellectual IITs, IITs, and you know, they're taken to the hospital. at that time i rang rang up mukund bhai kaise ho bola baba ne bachaya baba kehte na apna bhojan khud banao and if possible when you come to madras atomic power station you can go to the bungalow of our station director sudhir bhai last time when i was there i went to his house big bungalow right sudhir says wife manisha ben with the son that wonderful special child beautiful child divine child shreyas bhai is there managing their business etc sudhir bhai as a station director stays all alone in the bungalow he's all alone every day gets up in the morning at 4 am does meditation listens to the murli he prepares his own food can we clap for him station director baba yes he's a station director he prepares his own food all three times and then not only prepares the food how does our uh, chartered accountant friend was telling how you to make money pure money are you should learn how to make food pure food you should offer it to the uh, almighty god your sister should you should learn take tuition classes from the sisters after preparing the food in all temples we prepare bhog and give na why can't i do it in my home sweet home i'll tell you if you do it from today your vastu of your home sweet home will start becoming better Yes. So not only vegetarian. There are so many people in this world. West is moving towards vegetarian. That's not something great. But the food should be made pure. And wherever you go, I was asking Sudhir Bhai. He's uh, he goes to a foreign delegation as per International Atomic Agency. He's sent to as inspection. He's uh, go, he has to go and certify various other nuclear power stations in the world. That's an international protocol. So I asked him, how do you manage? He said, "I've got a small cooker. I go there, prepare my own. I take my own food. Then all the people ask, 'What are you doing this?' He has got a reason to take them to spirituality, food, very, very important. So first step is be light. Number two is feel light. Number three, see light. Number four, this eat light. 
and last one is fifth and the last is do light do light i'll just give you one last experience of mine and wind it up it's 1:15 and 1:15 is a lunch time i'll just take two or three minutes i remember maybe around 3 months before when uh, family asked me sir we have to speak our abhiman about our abhimanyu the young son so when we when i said please come na swami be please come uh, our son is playing so much of tantrums and he's hat yogi jidd kar raha hai so I, anyway there was a family which i had been known for many years so i said i'll come down i went so the mother father the elder abhimanyu the chota abhimanyu was sitting i said what's your problem what's your challenge so the parents had only one issue this particular boy after his graduate he completed his graduation his post graduation he wants to go to canada 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 why do you want to go to canada because i've seen all youtube videos very good place and very good post graduation this 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 my friend also is going why do you want to go to canada you can do post graduation here also no 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 there you get so much of wealth and all that stuff no matter how much we try to explain to him and if the parents were would have been very affluent fine how much money do you want minimum 20 lakhs loan you have to take papa is telling see we have bought a uh, house now i'm still paying the loan now this son wants me to take an extra loan of 20 lakhs rupees and then sustaining for one year whether he gets a job or not i tried to explain his father tried to explain finally i told the parents see if he wants to go there please bless him otherwise for the entire lifetime he will keep on cursing you that you destroyed my career you destroyed my career so papa said where do you where do i take the loan from i said you manage you have to deal with your abhimanyu so become a, uh, yudhishthir take the loan somewhere take credit or whatever you want to do finally one day the boy left the boy left two weeks before Now three or four days before the Ganesh Chaturthi day, again the mother rang, Swami, boy, please come. We are very stressed. Please come. I said, what happened? Abhi man, you settle na, sir. Abhi man, you settle. But India, Canada, dishum dishum ho ra. I said, ha ha. I was hearing in the news that some problem with the Canadian Prime Minister or something like that. G20 gadbad ho gaya, abhi gadbad ho gaya. And the visa stop, this stop. They were total stress. i said uh, yeah you require little bit of uh, you know interaction so i came there i asked what sir abhimanyu to canada chala gaya but humko raat ko neend nahi aa raha what is going to happen it's a question of safety the ministry for external affairs says indians be careful be uh, be careful means what what do i do mujhe neend nahi aa raha now tell me what advice should i give to these parents abhimanyu may be living in bliss there <laughs> but this parents ko neend nahi aa raha what guidance should i give them it was at that time i told see my dear sweet uh, parents it's as sudhir sir was telling it's all energy i told you are concerned regarding your that you are parents sir ma hu main i am the mother and you said you sleep peacefully how it is possible i said that's what you need to understand in spirituality that you are the mother of this abhimanyu in this birth maybe abhimanyu's past mother maybe in canada so he has gone to meet his previous mother last birth acha oh there is one mother yes he has gone to meet his mother baba and then i can sleep peacefully there should be some mother krishna was born with one mother taken care with other mother ah that's it they were very happy and relaxed why is he insisting to go to canada it's because you know that's what the frequency is all about it's some kind of a karmic connections so this makes us very very light and the last part i'll share you one experience i was sharing it with sudhir sir yesterday when we were traveling i was invited to dubai to take a training program in one organization for the top level people i conducted the training program returned back they sent me a mail thank you swami it was a lecture was blah 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 good 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 after one week i received a mail from the hr swami sir we want you to come again i said i have given already the lecture what do you need more sir please give the now we want you to interact with the shop floor people i said why do you want me to invite me to the shop floor so the hr person said three reasons the first reason your hindi is good so we're looking out for a faculty who can speak good hindi i said okay second reason they told me your uh, quotation proposal is very low money because i wrote them i have never seen dubai till now 
So even if you don't want to pay me anything, don't pay me. But take me the to and fro flight, book me in a good hotel, I'll bring my pressure cooker, no food required, and take me to Dubai. I've never seen Dubai. Take me to the Burj Khalifa and all that stuff. Ah, please come, please come. But still, as a company protocol, we pay. And I said, pay whatever you want to do. I'm not concerned. But I want to visit Dubai. Please help me. So they said, the quotation is very, very low. I said, okay, now I'm very curious about the third reason. And the third reason was very interesting. The HR person told me, sir, in our company, there are people from five countries. India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Burma, Bhutan. They stay there together for 24 hours. They are in the dormitory for 6 to 8 hours. We put them in the bus. We take them to the shop floor. They are there for 8 hours. Means 24 into 7, they are together. They say our greatest challenge is our BP moves up, stress level is high on an India-Pakistan cricket match. My God. How to deal with these people? So we give holiday. But holiday also we cannot give because they will start fighting in the dormitory. This is a greatest challenge. But last time when you came, you spoke about energy. That we are not this matter. Hamatma hai, Hamatma ka pita wo param jyoti. We actually belong to one family. Sir, this message nobody is sharing. Please can you come and give this message. And that's the reason I traveled all the way to Dubai. I did that program, all five countries. Brahma Kumaris operates in 140 countries. And we work on this universal consciousness. So the last step is do light. So the action plan is from here, because self-safety is the most important. So from here you have to go to Chennai. It may take approximately one and a half hours or two hours. What you should do is, in one minute, while you're walking towards the lunch, you can do it. First, through the mind, you should connect to that supreme and create a horizontal tunnel. And see that light is falling onto you. Yeah, that's the horizontal tunnel. And that's what through your mind you should create that safety tunnel for you. From here to your Chennai home sweet home, you should create a horizontal channel, horizontal tunnel of light. Most important is your own safety. So through your mind, if you create a horizontal tunnel of light, while you're traveling in the car, you may wear your seat belt, you may have be within the speed limit, but somebody else can give you tuck and say Om Shanti to you. So it's not just enough for you to be safe. You should karmic account, na? There's some tuck Om Shanti. So this safety, and that's not very important, my dear friends. The last part. Many of we parents and teachers are concerned about the safety of our abhimanyus. Yes or no? Whether they will go in wrong track, whether they will listen to the friends, maybe they'll... Uh, so many... And that's what we listen to the, you know, news and media. What I request all of you, my dear friends, is every day in the morning, get up, first get this. This is what you have to do. Get connection from that supreme light. And then you should create a tunnel for your abhimanyu to go. Because you know more or less the daily routine of your abhimanyu. From the house he will go to his college so create a tunnel and from the college he's coming back and he's safe this is exactly i told to my friends in bombay whose abhimanyu has gone to canada i said sitting over here don't get worried about the india canada political problem you create a beautiful tunnel for your abhimanyu and see that he's safe inside can't you do this and that's what is very very important so every day in the morning, Amrit Vela, after, after 4.45 a.m., one of my schedule in that 4.45, 4 to 4.45 is, from here, I keep on creating the tunnel, wherever I get a program. So the tunnel at Happy Village, I was creating two and a half months before. Thanks to Selvanathan Bhai who called me and said, Swami Bhai, you have to come to Happy Village. So from here, every day I connect. From Happy Village, I will go to MAPS two days. From there, I create a tunnel to go to Ahmedabad, Mount Abu, medical conference. From there, I will go to an indoor, from indoor to Pune, Pune to Mumbai, Uttarakhand, Kedarnath, I'm going next month. And I have got, I create a tunnel till February 2024. And my tunnel is ready. So the last part is, while you're going to the office, also create a tunnel. And bring everybody inside the tunnel. Before you undertake a meeting, one minute silence. 
It's not brainstorming, it's brain stilling. Just can we sit in silence for one minute? I see so many organizations who have adopted this particular principle. I've seen many organizations writing. They use just like we have no smoking zone. They kept as no anger zone. So I saw that, I said, don't keep no anger zone. Write it peaceful zone, loveful zone. So this is a way how you can create that vastu. So five action plan. Uh, transformation from Arjun to Yudhishthir to Sri Krishna. Number one is be light. Number two is feel light. Number three is see light. Number four is eat light. And number fifth is the do light. So when you are light, you will get full of might. And then all what you do would be certainly right. Thank you very much. Om Shanti.